In our last lesson, we learned taming the dragon or xianglong. In today's lesson, we're going to learn vanquishing the tiger or in Chinese, fu hu. Xianglong strikes upwards because long fly in the sky. Fu hu strikes down because tigers run on the ground. Actually, when we combine their Chinese names, xianglong fu hu is a Chinese idiom. When we say someone is able to xianglong fu hu, it means the person has great capabilities and skills and is able to overcome untold dangers and difficulties. Fu hu basically consists of three arm moves. The first move is dusting or dan. I first introduced it in Huo Da Ding Zhou tutorial. The second move is Ti. It is an upward attack to hit on the jaw or the nerves and the elbow. The third move is An, which is used to strike down on the abdomen or chest bone after the T strike. Now please stand up and learn with me. As always, before each move, prepare yourself first. If you don't know how to do this, watch my body trend breathing tutorial. These tutorials are designed to be learned as a system. If you skip lessons, you will miss a lot of basic things. First, turn your body to the right. At the same time, raise your left hand and draw a big circle in the air. This is a whole body movement. You have to use your body to lead the arm and the hand. When it reaches the right side of your body, use the Dan move, as if you are dusting clothes. Then, raise your hand high up in front of your body. Push down your left hand. At the same time, stomp your feet together with the back of your right hand striking upwards. This is called T. The three moves must be in sync, pushing down your left hand, stomping at force to your right hand's upward strike. Now, step forward your right foot. At the same time, draw back your left arm and strike down your right palm. In this move, again, you move your body, twist your feet and waist, instead of using your right arm and palm to generate the striking force. Let's continue with the other side. Draw a big circle with your right arm to make the Dan move. Push down your right hand. At the same time, stomp your feet and make the T move with your left hand. Step forward your left foot and draw back your right arm. At the same time, move your body, twist your feet and waist to strike down with your left palm. When you reach the end of the field, you turn like this and continue until you go back to the starting point. Applications When someone attacks you with a punch, you duck and use the T attack to strike on the nerves and the elbow and use the arm move to strike down on his abdomen or chest bone. The trick here is the same as Cheng Chui. We have to use body weight and twist your feet and waist to generate power. You can also use the T move to strike on your opponent's jaw if the back of your hand is properly conditioned and hardened. Otherwise, hitting on the jaw may cause hand fractures. This will be the final single move I introduced this summer. There have been rain lockdowns and hot days, so more single moves will come this autumn when I can shoot at a better place. But I will post more talk videos during this period. I hope you continue to work on these moves to make them perfect before you learn anything new later. So see you in our next tutorial.